What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three Facebook ad examples that are going to crush it for you, guaranteed to get you results. If you guys like real estate marketing, real estate Facebook ads, Instagram advertising, or even mortgage lead generation, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It helps me help you, and that is the goal of my channel. All right, guys, so here is uh, the first ad. So we've got a homes list. So, uh, guys, you can download this in the description below. I will link that below. You can get this exact same uh, PDF, ebook, uh, so that you can copy these ads. So, we've got a homes list. So, we're just going to say, hey, live in or near your area. So, live in or near Dallas, live in or near Indianapolis, whatever it would be, right? Do you know anyone looking to buy a home? Question. Follow here. If you're using a landing page like ClickFunnels or, or anything like that, you would put their link right here. So usually we'll do like a bit.ly link or a link shortener so that it's not like adammiddlesworth.clickfunnels.com, right? Uh, you would put that link here and then you'd say, we have compiled a free report or a free list of homes for sale under X price, right? Uh, some of these homes may even qualify for special financing programs. Again, call to action. The reason we have two call to actions is so that if this gets cut off, we want them to have that call to action before it gets cut off. So if you have a lot of copy on your Facebook ads or Instagram advertising, uh, particularly Facebook, uh, it'll cut off, right? So if we just had this, this, and this, then it wouldn't have this and people wouldn't see your call to action, right? It wouldn't see follow here or grab your list here. And we want them to be able to see that. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. The headline is know somebody looking to buy a home in your area, right? Same thing. And then the description. And then for the image, we use Canva. So you'll see in a second what that looks like. We just do um, four little images. Uh, so it looks like multiple images, but it's really just one image. Right, so here's what that looks like. So we're just gonna say, hey, uh, Dallas residents, or live in or near Dallas, or something like that, right? Do you know anybody looking to buy a home? We use some of these emojis. Follow here with a bit.ly link. And then we have comp compiled a free report of homes, uh, all homes for sale under a certain price, right? You can do 400,000 here, but what we've noticed is that if you put those round numbers, people are only going to see that uh, 400, right? They're not going to save 399. So if they see 400, they're just going to keep scrolling. And then we just say, hey, know somebody looking to buy a home in Dallas. And so when they click on this, they're going to go to a landing page, uh, ideally ClickFunnels um, or another landing page software. I use ClickFunnels. It's great. Uh, but when they go to that page, they're going to either enter, enter their information to get the list or not, right? We're not gonna send them to a website or to a list of homes uh, on your email list or anything like that, right? Because we want name, email, and phone number. Okay, so that is ad number one. Ad number two is just promoting your listings, right? So new listing, feature listing in your area, beautiful single story ranch home or beautiful two story uh, home with a the home theater in it or whatever it is, right? You know how to make that appealing. Uh, as you guys are real estate agents. So, uh, and then again, we have a call to action here. Tap the photos below for more photos, price and location. Features include blah, 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 right? And then for more photos, price and location, simply tap the photos below. And the reason that we say that is because on Facebook or Instagram, if they tap on the image, it's just gonna take them either to a lead form or to that landing page, right? So that makes a lot of sense just to say tap that. And then we just have, we have a three bedroom, two bath, check it out while you still can. Tap the photos above for more photos, price and location. Here is that ad image, right? So what we do here is, uh, this is again, using Canva, it's just one image. It looks like a lot of images. Um, so it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, if, if, they, if they want more photos, they're going to tap the photo. It's gonna go to a lead form or a landing page. They're going to grab their information, and then we are going to send them more photos. So as you can see here, if we didn't add this call to action, it would cut it off, right? And they wouldn't see a call to action. That's why it's really important to add two calls to action if you have long-form copy. Okay, so that's number two. The second here 
is last chance. So this is a, like a retargeting. So if you do this listing ad and you haven't sold that home in two, three, four weeks, then you can go back and retarget everybody who clicked on that ad but didn't enter their information. Or you can just do everybody in general, right? And you're just gonna say, hey, last chance uh, Frisco or Dallas or Indianapolis or LA or whatever it is. We estimate that this home will sell within the next few weeks. Take a look before it's gone. Again, call to action, features, call to action. Last chance this home is going to sell soon. And this is what that looks like, right? So the same image, uh, because they'll see, they'll re probably remember the other ad, right? If we show that enough times and retarget them quickly with this ad, they'll see this ad. So that is the third and final ad example. If you want this exact document, I will have that in the description below. I'll also pin it in the first comment if you want to click on that. I'll send that to you via message, via Facebook Messenger. So just click get started and I will send that your way. You can have this. Uh, I don't want your email or phone number or anything. Uh, I'll just shoot that over to you via Messenger. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer in the comments below. If you guys want more real estate or mortgage specific marketing content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. Guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.